going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the Xbox One, Xbox One sales, what's been going on, and what is going to happen in the future. As you guys know, for the last few months, Xbox has been defeating the PlayStation 4 when it comes to sales. They've gotten at least two solid months of winning right now and beating their competition. Now, why is this such big news? Why is everybody talking about it? Well, People are talking about it because Microsoft, for a long time, was unable to defeat the PlayStation. Uh, you can count pretty much on one hand the amount of months that the Xbox One has defeated the PlayStation 4. They've been fighting an uphill battle, and for the most part, they've been losing it. And so for Microsoft to win numerous months in a row is kind of like winning the lottery for them. It usually does not happen, and Microsoft has been doing very well here in the States, and Actually, in the UK, it's an even bigger deal. I'll drop a link in the description. Last month, the Xbox One has already made the headlines for beating the UK sales of the PlayStation 4. Now it looks like the Xbox One is on fire again as it beats the PlayStation 4's UK sales. As per GFK, a trusted market research firm, Microsoft's console is topping UK charts. Xbox One outsold the PS4 by 15,000 units last September. The figure has increased to 25,000 units last October, as per game industry. The big turnaround in sales may root from the Xbox One's launch. The said console reached UK the last week of September and Xbox's sales continue to increase from that point onwards. It's worth noting that the Xbox One does come with some great improvements and was bundled with FIFA 17. This football-based console game is actually the country's most popular game franchise. Xbox UK's Harvey Eagle expresses appreciation for fans who made the console success possible. As per GSM Arena, Eagle said, quote, Thanks to our fans, Xbox was the best-selling console in October, the second month in a row in the UK, end quote. Eagle also did not let the opportunity pass without endorsing the Xbox One S. The marketing director of Xbox UK added that he appreciates the support and enthusiasm given to the new range of console games for the Xbox One S, including Gears of War 4, Battlefield 1, and the first-timer Minecraft, which Eagle says is already available right now. As per the Xbox website, their new console has a starting price of $249.99. The Xbox One S offers Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray streaming, up to 2 terabytes worth of storage and a slim body that is about 40% smaller than the previous console. The company also boasts of the Xbox One's high dynamic range that provides gamers rich and more brilliant colors that are especially great for Forza 3 and Gears of War 4. So this is really, for Microsoft, it's really good news, right? And, and for me, as someone who supports Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony, I like to see this camaraderie, I like to see this back and forth. Uh, but it's been two months, and I'm thinking Sony is probably tired of losing. And I'm thinking that now since it's November, and Sony has something rolling out, that it probably won't happen this month. I think with the PlayStation 4 Pro dropping on the 10th, that Microsoft is probably a little worried. People are looking forward to jumping into the next iteration of PlayStation 4. People are looking forward to playing games on 4K TVs that actually matter. Uh, I know that a lot of people in the comments will probably say, hey man, it's not 4K native. Well, look, Digital Foundry knows a little bit more about 4K native than most of us. I know they know more than I do. It's what they do. And from their perspective, PlayStation 4 Pro's 4K abilities are almost undiscernible from 4K native. So to me, that's very, very impressive. And for the price of $400, a lot of people are excited about it. Am I getting the PlayStation 4 Pro? Not right now. I'll probably get it next year, maybe income tax time when the money is a little bit, you know, flows more like water. Right now, I'm trying to enjoy my PlayStation VR. But PlayStation 4 Pro will be here in a matter of days. People are excited about it. And what's going to happen now with Xbox winning for the last few months? Do you guys think it's possible that Microsoft can hold on for the month of November and hold on through the thunderstorm that is most certainly going to be PlayStation 4 Pro. Be sure to sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this month. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and check out my website, BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,